Okay, so we're going to create our very first dashboard. Now, the way I got to the screen was after you create a dashboard, you'll see um, I created two for demo, but you'll see here you click on it and it's going to have you feed your data sources. I've chosen Go High Level as a data source. When you click on it, you can do that and then select a source that you've already added. So now we go here to our dashboard and it looks a lot like a funnel builder. So first thing we're going to do is just create some columns like this. So that way we can create some cool data. And I'm going to go in here and grab the number chart. And I'm just going to drag that number chart into these different sections. If you wanted to, you could grab a bar chart. No reason why you couldn't. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. In fact, um, some people may want to do a bar chart. So I'll just give you an example. If I put this here. Now I could go like this. I could add data in here and we can change that up, shift that around and you'll see how that goes. So anyways, um, let's just stick with what we're doing. And so there we are, we got all these number charts. We can do whatever we want later for design options. So now I'm going to click on sources and here I'm going to just go ahead and click on a source that we already have uh, integrated. It says here, nothing to see. And that's because we need some attributes. So if I click on this and I just wanna put, for instance, leads, we're gonna sum up opportunities that are open in this pipeline right here. Now, I'll just say this, there's the three differences. Is if you do count of opportunities, it's going to be pipeline specific or opportunities that are in your uh, system. Contacts are a little bit different because contact can be in your system but not be an opportunity. So we're gonna go ahead and choose opportunities. Status here is open. And then you've also got, uh, we're going to choose pipeline here. Just the We just want all the leads, not necessarily anything filtered down by a stage. We just want all of them. So I'm going ahead and hit create, and I'm going to throw this in here. And I do need to turn off mock data. We're going to change this to this year, so that way we can see leads that have come through this particular pipeline this year. And now we're going to go in and filter in on some of these. So let's go ahead and put... Um, like I'll just say, let's see if we want to see how many came from the chat widget. So we're going to do count of opportunities, still open, but we want the source to be the chat widget. Um, and we're going to do this same lead generation pipeline. So we'll go like this, and I'm going to throw these in here. It shows 86 of them came from the chat widget. Now, if we want to see in here Facebook leads, Facebook Messenger leads, uh, Facebook ads is the one that's got the majority of these. So we can also go in here and type in ads, and we're going to do count of opportunities. We will say open, and then we will put in here um, lead generation, and let's uh, for our source, we'll put Facebook ads. So now we got that, I'll throw this in here as well. So it's showing us we've had 354 leads, 155 through Facebook, uh, then we have these others through chat widget. Now that might mean the rest of them just came through, say for instance, a website. So what you could do if you wanna make sure all the numbers always line up is we could go in here and put this custom source. It says nothing is here. This is where we can do a calculation if we know like, hey, our leads are either coming from Facebook or a chat widget, one or the other, can't be them all, then what you do is you type your leads. We're going to drag all these in here, and I'm going to go leads minus chat widget minus Facebook ads, and we're just going to put miscellaneous traffic. We're going to change this later and the name of it, and now I'm just going to drag this in here and it's gonna give us the difference, so that way it always reconciles the amount of traffic. And so now if I wanna click on this and change the way that that looks, we're just gonna put a website. So now we can see where these leads have actually all come from. Okay, so next let's go ahead and take a look at um, deals that have been won. So I'm, I'm gonna create another one, and I'm gonna go into the same data source here. And we're going to put in uh, sales one. We're going to put here um, count of opportunities. We're going to put the status as one. And we're going to put the same pipeline. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. And we're just going to drag that in here. Shows that 102 of those sales have been one, which is pretty dang good. That's a good conversion rate. Now, what if I want to see how many came from chat widget, Facebook ads, and the website? 
Well, we could do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put here um, one Facebook. So we're going to put here sales um, opportunity status is going to be one. And actually, I have a cool idea. Let's try this. So this is showing our total sales one. And then we could also put here. Actually, I have a really cool idea for how we could do this. So this shows total sales one. And now let's just put the value of those sales. So we'll put sum of values and we're going to put one and then we're going to choose that same pipeline and I'm going to just throw this up in here and now I'm going to click on this little gear wheel here and under mappings I can see here it says value so I can put um, uh, payments received I can spell I think that's how you nope that's not how you spell that horrible at spelling by the way and then I'm gonna go ahead and show the decibel so that way it looks pretty good like that and because I want this box to be highlighted because I like you know the way those kinds of things look I'm gonna go ahead and put that there so you can see leads and then sales one so then what do we want to put over here well I'll show you a cool idea that I have here we could throw in a um, So then I'll show you what we have over here, and I want to put in opportunities. So I want to see like sales opportunities that are still open, but uh, so what we have here, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually put in here leads. Uh, we're going to create a custom calculation, and in this I'm going to put leads minus uh, our sales that have been won. Now, keep in mind, I put open, so if somebody abandoned the sale, it's not going to um, show up in here, which is nice. So leads minus sales one, and this is going to put uh, remaining opportunities. And I'm going to hit create. So now I have this here. I'm going to throw this up like that, and we are going to take away the little... Like that. And then I want to do, did I spell this wrong? Let's see. Yes, I did. So then what I also want to do is take my remaining opportunities. And I need to figure out what the, uh, how much in sales are possibly open and pending. And in order to be able to do that, I got to go over here. And I'm going to put uh, open sales. Check this out. And I'm going to put sum of opportunities. And we're going to put open. So it's going to sum up stuff that has been open in that pipeline. So now all I got to do is go over here into my custom calculations. And I'm going to create this. And it's going to put the um, open sales and the values and we're going to put open sales minus value and we're going to put a uh, potential payment uh, payments like this and now i'm going to take this and bloop plop this in here and it's going to give us another reading like this and we are going to add this decibel just like that so now what I've got here is my total leads, where these leads have come from, and my total sales won and the payments received and all this good stuff. But now what if for craps and giggles we wanted to break down and see, okay, well, how many of these sales came from Facebook? How many of these sales came from um you know all these different locations? We could dive into each one of these just a little bit deeper. And so I could go in here and I could say, uh, let's first go back and let's add, you could add a data source. Now, please keep in mind that this is not the actual ad account that goes with this Go High Level account. So the, the data is not going to look good as far as it's going to look like this is a brand new ad account. It's gonna, or not brand new, but brand new campaign. So it's going to look like, wow, they're absolutely crushing it. But you're going to get the point as to what we have done. And I'm going to put here uh, this year. 
So that way we can do this. So you can see how this data is looking. And now what we're going to do is go over here into sources and we're going to take our Facebook ad spend. And I'm going to type in spend and just throw that in right here. And we're going to um, spend unit symbol. And now we kind of have what our Facebook spend was. We can already see where our leads came from up here. And now <laughs> this is going to look skewed. And that's why I hesitate to even do this because there's no way you're getting 155 leads for $404. But let's just say that you could then what you could do is go over here and you could take your spend like this and then you could take your go high level leads facebook ad leads like this and you could go spend divided by facebook leads put your cost per lead and now you drop that in here and it's going to look like you are just a freaking genius because it's going to look like you have the cost per lead, you know, a crazy low cost per lead. So anyways, uh, now you have this. And now what we can do is go in here and let's say that we wanted to um, dial in how many leads were won from Facebook. We can do that too. So we're going to go back into our sources here. By the way, right now there's just so you, you might be like, that's confusing. It's point zero. There's a glitch where it's not showing the sense, it's just rounding it. So that'll be fixed here over the next three days. Um, so anyways, and that's only when you're use, pulling a cost per lead when you take ads from Facebook and divide it by go high level leads. So if we wanted to see how many leads were won specifically from Facebook, we'll put here um, Facebook one result type. We're gonna do count of opportunities one pipeline lead generation and we're going to put the source is facebook ad so now we'll drop this in here and it shows that 14 leads out of the 155 were one which is what it is and then what if we want to get the actual value of that as well we could put uh, facebook one value now i'm going to go over here and type in count uh sum up opportunity value one source facebook ads pipeline lead generation now i have this here and now it's going to sum up my value so i'm going to just change this here to payments I'm going to do that since I don't want to run out of space. Okay, so now we've got Facebook spend. We can break down, see a little bit more of our how our data is starting to look with this. You could do the same thing with the chat widget. I'm, I'm not going to do it just because you already get the idea as to how you could do this. I am going to get rid of the section headers because we don't really need them for this right now. But what would be kind of cool would be what if we want to see our leads by day in a different kind of chart? I can throw in a bar chart over here and we could go back to our go high level. We can do this and type in our leads and change this to leads by day. By the way, intervals, just so you know, they really only affect bar charts and line graphs. They don't affect number charts. And the reason for that is because they are... Um, they are in it's it's think of it like a stock chart a stock chart will show you something in each bar will represent say either one day a month or that etc so then when i copy this link i can put this here you'll see i hit paste and it's going to pull up all the data that we just did into its own sheet just like this so now we could then plug this into a go high level account so how would we plug this into a go high level account? I'll show you here in just two seconds. You go over here, you're going to grab this custom URL. You go back into this. We're going to go into switch to agency view. Uh, we are going to go into our settings and then you can see a custom menu link. When you click on the custom menu link, all you have to do is hit create new. You can name your link whatever you want. You want to take off show to all accounts and you choose which account you want it to show to. And I'll give you an example here as to what that would look like. You could then go like this, go like this, go like this, and then we could put in ad metrics and you'll see it actually opens it up right within 
your Go High Level account, and it looks native just like this. So that is how you use the Go High Level integration. There's a lot of cool things that you can do with this to make this thing look awesome. Uh, now, if you're wanting to get into changing colors and customizations, that's pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy to do. All you have to do is mess around with these. You can do that. Uh, you can change your background colors of these by clicking into the settings. And in our next video, we're going to be talking about how to set up custom calculations.